Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be trying out Helm's new tasting menu. Let's go! Before we begin our culinary journey, we start off with 3 bites of appetizers paired with a glass of white wine. Helm has a 10-seater counter table to promote one-on-one -on -one interaction between the kitchen and the guests. This allows its guests to see the preparations like a culinary performance and their chefs to be able to thoroughly explain the dishes to their diners. Today's new was a map, which then plots the journey of Magellan from Portugal to the Philippines and his troops way back to Spain to circumnavigate the world. Creative, huh? To start, we have Portuguese-inspired bacalao on a bed of blanched garlic sauce with anchovy and parsley oil. This is paired with another white wine from Portugal. We now move on to Spain, where Magellan proposes his plan to search for spices and for God, gold, and glory. This was one of my favorite dishes because of that strip of fat that works so well with the paella. It just melts in your mouth. For our fourth course, we move with Magellan and his troops to the Canary Islands to try their baked marbled potatoes, generously dipped in two mojo sauces. This next dish is another one of my favorites, Brazil-inspired Pau de Queso, also known as their cheese bread. This version at Helm is similar to that of a Yorkshire pudding with cheese on the side. And okay guys, as a meat lover, the sixth course was also one of my favorites. The amazing dishes just keep coming. This one is Argentinian-inspired. We have three-day cooked short rib with steak tartare on top. Just wow. This dish was paired with a rosé, which we all loved. And still from the same area, Argentina, we were then served with bread and butter. The bread was so soft and delicious, it could work alone without the butter. And as we move along the peaceful sea, also known as the Pacific Ocean, we are served crab fat chawan mushi with bites of abalone. We have one more stop before finally reaching Cebu and this was in Guam. This dish is pork tenderloin with sauce and fermented vegetable paste. This dish was paired with a glass of Pinot Noir. We take a short break before going to the Philippines with this palate cleanser. We all know what happens next in history. Magellan and Lapu Lapu fight to their death at Cebu. And just like that, for our 11th course, we were served Lapu Lapu soaked with lemongrass tea. This dish was refreshing. Magellan died before being able to circumnavigate the world, but there were survivors who made their way back to Spain. And on their way back, they passed by South Africa. This dish is Helm's version of a melva cake served with apricot jam and heavy cream, paired with brewed coffee which also came from South Africa. And alas, we are back in Spain, and what better way to end that gastronomic trip with one of Spain's most popular desserts, churros. I loved how the logistics of the restaurant allowed us to watch the genius that was being made in the kitchen. It was a performance of some sort. All the dishes were great and were thoughtfully constructed. I cannot think of any dish I did not like. All my plates were this clean. I am now a Helm and Josh Botwood fan to say the least. That was one of the best fine dining restaurants I've tried in Manila, if not the best. I'm looking forward to trying out their next menus. Thanks, Chef! Thanks for watching! Bye!